In this video, we're going to explore how to create a histogram in Chart.js. And as you can see here, this is a sample of our histogram here with nice rounded borders. We have here, look at the tooltip. You can see if you hover over one of the bars, it will show you from two till three and pay attention here on the labels below. They are instead of below the bar, which is a standard feature in bar chart, they are besides. So this is slightly different. We have to do some modifications on the axis here, the bar chart or the bars itself how we show the data in the data points, and of course the tooltip and the hours. Okay, what you can see here, for example, we know that from one o'clock till two o'clock, that we have 700 visitors in this restaurant, for example. And then here again, 700, and then here the peak point or the most busy moment is here at six till nine, we have 800 visitors every single hour. Let's start to explore how we can create this wonderful histogram chart in this histogram chart series. In this video, we're going to explore how to make a histogram chart in Chart.js, or basically a histogram. So if you're familiar with histogram and familiar with bar chart, you know there are some slight differences. And if you're not, well, let me explain. Because Chart.js doesn't support histogram by default or out of the box. However, it does have the bar chart, and the bar chart has many similarities to the histogram. So let's explore. Well, here you have a sample of a histogram. And if you look here very carefully, you can see here the bars are all between each other or basically attached to each other. And what you can see is what well, the labels here down, you can see here, for example, 6 p.m. for the label, is between the bars instead of below the bar. In a bar chart, by default, every bar has a specific label. Well, with the histogram, it is not the case. So let's start and explore and create this one. Because to make this, we do need to know a few things. So we need to do some adjustments. All right. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add up here a basic bar chart. We will just go to the Chart.js website. Click on Getting Started or Get Started. Then here we have the basic uh, JavaScript code. Let's copy this. And this is a bar chart. So this is the starting point we're going to work with. So put in the bar chart here. Some tabs, put in here and enter, and I'm going to remove the height and width here. So we remove this. So the next part that we need to do is we need to put in here the Chart.js JavaScript library. To do this, we click on Getting Started here, click on the submenu of Getting Started, and there you are here. You can find the JavaScript library or the CDN link. There you are of Chart.js. All right, so now we have this. What I want to do here is I want to nest this like here. So it says here as well, it is required to give the chart its own container for responsiveness. All right. So basically, we could copy this almost if we want. Let's put it in here. But what we need to do here, of course, is to give it a class. I want to give this a specific class where we set up a width. So we say here, this will be a chart box class. And then we make a style. And in the style tag, we're going to assign a width on the chart box. So what we're going to do is here, we say here, chart box or dot chart box for class and then here we'll say width 700 pixels once I save this I go over to a browser and refresh you can see now we have a bar chart working all right as you can see here the bar chart contains the label below or the ticks are here below so what we want to do is we want to put it to the side here to do this we need to do some adjustments on here one of the things is eventually is that this part here this is right now a standard category artisan uh, type of axis and what we're going to adjust it to is a line axis and let me explain here why all right so we go here to the chart types and we have here the bar chart you can see here labels are below but if we click here on line chart we have exactly the opposite the labels are now between and this is what we will be using so we're going to do two things first of all let's put these uh, bars attach let's attach the bars to each other so to do this, we go down here, and we have basically this one here, the bar bar percentage and the bar, uh, category percentage. Those two are important. If you click on this, you see here there is like some story about bar thickness, but you can ignore that because these are the ones we need. And all we need to do here is bar percentage and category percentage set on to value of one. If you want to know more about this, I have a specific video covering these two items and what the differences are. All right. So we say here, 
in our data set here up below the border width we put in here bar percentage we say one and the reason why we do one is we want to have 100 percent width and then we say here the category percentage it is also we say we set on one means 100 percent of the category so if you are wondering what is a category category is basically this from this line to this and then the bar is basically here the space here will be removed as well so we will maximize the entire bar so if i refresh now there we are we have maximized it because we have the maximum category which is 100 percent and 100 percent width of 100 percent of the category is equal one to one all right so that's it so far so now we have this what we can do is next is eventually in the scales we need to apply some adjustments in the scales and specifically in the x scale so if i go back here to the bar because what we want is we want this line axis or basically this x-axis style of the line so what we're really doing with a histogram is we're going to get the bar chart structure because we still want the bars basically up and down lines like what we have here but we want this below here very similar to a line axis all right so that's what we're going to do this is what we call a linear axis if you click here on axis you can see here it's the cartesan axis which is ours and you can see here linear axis so what we need to assign here specifically on in the options scales and then here the x axis because we want to have this part adjusted not this but this one here down so this is the x axis so let's do that so we say here options scales and then here in the scales we put in the x axis and then here we have to assign the type as i indicated the type here is a linear version so what we're going to do here is we just type here type let me say here linear I put a comma here and then save this once I save this refresh it starts to adjust and I might say oh wait a minute but what happened with the values here well guess what we're going to use the line part but basically this is very similar to a scatter let me show you because what we're doing is we're combining multiple items together basically we get the uh, structure of the line chart or the axis the line chart we want the bar chart design and if you look at scatter here we have the scatter which is also exactly the same type of item but the data points here are set with an x and y value if you go here and do setup you can see your data x and y and this is becoming very important let's copy this for now I'm going to put in one of the values because these values are cannot be read because we're missing data so here this is an array as well put in some enters then I'll put in here the value there we are oh delete these I'm going to put this together and once we have this and I'll just put it here a positive value let's say 10 for X and then oh well we just do one first and here we'll do 10 if I save this now and go back here refresh you can see here now we get this structure all right so in the next video we're going to work on it and what we eventually want is the following we want to push this as well more to the side because we're not done yet uh, and what we will do is eventually putting the hours correctly and then we have the amount of visitors coming in per hour that we should be see in the histogram Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.